The bat hunts by sending out an ultrasonic signal that bounces off an insect and returns to the bat's big ears. The bat can determine the exact location of the insect and catch it in complete darkness. He doesn't use his eyes, he uses echolocation. The high-pitched sounds he makes bounce off things and return to his ears, creating a picture of what is around him. Porpoises and dolphins use echolocation to swim in murky water or to locate objects in the water. The best conditions for an echo are when a sound strikes a hard, smooth surface. The sound is reflected or bounces off the surface and we hear it again. Echoes and sound reflection can cause problems in certain situations, such as at a movie or in a concert hall. To cut down on reflected sound, materials are used that help absorb the sound. In a movie theater, they have carpeting and drapes and padded seats to help soundproof. In this recording studio, the walls have soundproofing tiles that are made of cushioned material with many tiny holes to deaden the sound. Sometimes we need to get the sound reflected out to a large area, so curved surfaces are used to bounce the sound out to the audience. Reverberation is the repeated reflection of sound waves against smooth surfaces. That's why sounds in a gym seem to echo and sound strange. Another problem is called interference. This is where two sounds come together. If they come together at the same time and their compressions and rarefactions match up, the sound is strengthened and becomes louder. However, if the compression of one wave hits the rarefaction of the other, they cancel or wipe each other out and there is silence. That's why when people design concert halls, they try to consider the reflection of the sound and how it will produce reverberation or interference. <laughs> 